Okay. Check mark if you can follow the uh, the previous question. Antonio, right? Do you did you follow the previous example? Yes. Okay. Next question here is to simplify. Uh, to simplify this, uh, we need to know the properties. If I have a over n over a over m, that would be a over what? Okay. Who knows uh, the answer here? What do we do with the exponents? Okay, anybody with the microphone you want to tell me? Subtract. Uh, a lot of you typing subtract, so it would be n minus m. That's correct. Now, if you get the negative exponents, you can make it positive by making it 1 over a to the power of plus n. So over here, I get a to the power of, I have to subtract the exponents. So it would be 3 minus minus 2, b to the power of, the exponent here is 1, so it would be 1 minus 2, and c to the power of minus 4 minus 3, the whole thing should be 2 power of negative 1. So here we get a to the power of this would be plus, 3 plus 2 would be 5, b to the power of minus 1, c to the power of negative 7, the whole thing is to the power of minus 1. So now we need to know a property as how to uh, deal with this. If I have a to the power of n to the power of m, can somebody tell me what this is equal to? That would be a to the power of what? What do you do with the exponents? Okay. Some of you say add them. No, you don't add those. You add if you have a to the power of n times a to the power of m. This is very when you add. So here would be multiply, right? So you multiply them n times m. So over here I would get a to the power of five times negative one would be negative five, b to the power of positive one, c to the power of positive seven. So now we need to move a to the power of a negative five to the bottom of the fraction to make it positive and leave the other two terms alone. Now here everything is in terms of the positive exponents and that's how you simplify that.